Hi there, how's it going? I'm out on another adventure. Uh, this time I'm banned the car camping in the Zempire tent again. Got my usual goodies behind me. And uh, it's just a relaxing camp. I'm about uh, 30 minutes from home, 40 minutes from home in a nice little valley. It's quite a deep sided valley. So hopefully the wind will go over the top of us. And uh, the weather seems to be, well, weather seems to be what you'd expect in winter, but it doesn't look like it's gonna uh, turn too bad, might get a bit of wind, but that's all right. So come along, join me if you will. Let's go car camping. Yeah, you may not be able to hear that, I don't know, but uh, a couple of hundred yards away, or probably more than that, probably half a mile, three quarters of a mile away, there's a helicopter and he's coming in and he's taking, uh, taking building materials up into the hill. So maybe they're building a hut or uh, looking at uh, a washed out bridge or something like that. So if you hear the sound of a helicopter, my apologies. So this is a really nice spot. You can see behind me, it's just a camping area. There's a few picnic tables and bits and pieces around, uh, but I really like it. That's me sitting over there in the corner, um, park right next to it. So it's part of the regional council. It's a camping, designated camping area. Well, it's tent camping only, and you can see they've got a few tables and pretty much nothing else in here. And uh, I like to come to this particular area. Uh, I do some uh, camps in my little tramping tent. I, I walk for a couple of hours down the valley and camp down there. And there's a couple of huts back up in the hills that way as well. So it's a pretty nice area and, uh, and very, very close to home, close to Auckland. So I rather like it. So there it is, my camping area, my camping spot for the night. And uh, I'm in there and I think very happy I'll be too. Well, that's me set up. I've got my Zempire cot. I've got my Mac Pack mattress and uh, I've got my quilt. And of course, I've got a uh, nice inflatable pillow. Uh, this one's a little bit different. It's inflatable, but it's also got memory foam in it. Uh, so it's really comfortable. Rather liking this actually. So my normal setup, Zempire tent. Got a few bits and pieces, uh, but I should be pretty comfy. Not sure what the weather's doing. If you look one way, it's blue sky. You look the other way, it's not. Guess we'll see what happens, won't we? Uh, so I've got the windows open at the moment, but if it starts to rain, I'll peg them up. And we'll be fine. Uh, it's not looking good. You can just start it here, a bit of rain on the roof, which, uh, Again, as I said, wasn't forecast. So I'm just going to have a biscuit and a cup of coffee and uh, and see what happens. So uh, got to have uh, got to have a chocolate bicky, don't you? Nothing wrong with a chocolate biscuit, I can tell you that. Look at that, pretty good, eh? Mahu. Cheers. Well, it's interesting. Uh, you, I guess you're watching this video on YouTube, and if you are, thank you very much. If you like it, obviously, I'd like you to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already subscribed, I'd like you to do that as well. That would be really great. But I guess it brings me to the reason I'm saying this, and that is I got a comment the other day um, on one of the videos, and basically it said, you've got hardly any subscribers, you got hardly any views on your videos, why do you bother? And it's an interesting question, isn't it? Why do you bother? Well, I guess for the views and the subscribers, the way I look at it is every channel, no matter how big it is, started with zero views and zero subscribers. So that's okay. If I keep doing what I'm doing and if you like it, well then hopefully things will grow. So we'll put that to one side. I guess the question of why do I bother is probably a better question. And to be fair, I had to think about why I bothered. I mean, it's a fair, I mean, I would do this anyway. I, I would come out, I would go camping, I would go tramping, I would put packs on, I'd walk trails, I'd stay in my little backpacking tent. I would do that whether I was making videos or not. I just enjoy that. But the reason I make the videos is, well, to inspire someone, to encourage someone, 
So hopefully you, you're watching now, and you think to yourself, well, if that silly old fool can do it, he's unfit, he's pretty useless at what he does. No, I'm only joking. But he is unfit, and he does make mistakes, and he does slog up hills and all that sort of thing. So if he can do it, why can't I do it? And so if I can inspire someone, you, you're watching, and if I can inspire you to go out there and camp like this, or go for a tramp, or a walk, or an overnighter to a hut, then that's why I do it. And I think that's great, and I love getting comments from you guys, and you say, oh, how did you enjoy that? What track did you take? What should I do? What should I take? And I think that's pretty cool. I will answer all those comments and I'll answer all your questions because to get someone else to get out there, enjoy the great outdoors, enjoy this, I mean, yeah, how good is this? No phone, no cell coverage, no distractions, no nothing, just nice, peaceful, sound of the stream, sound of the rain, it's just great, isn't it? You can't go wrong. So if I can encourage you to go out and do this, then that's why I do it views subscribers yes it would be great to get more views it would be great to have more subscribers and if you like this video then please subscribe tell your friends help me get more views and more subscribers but that's not the point i'm doing it if i can encourage you to go out and do this then i'm a happy man so there we are there's my setup got my tent parked right next to it and just here uh, there's a nice stream, so you could be able to get fresh water from here, should you want to. Uh, it's flowing nicely, nothing too bad, but uh, you can see the scour marks, and you can see where there's some trees down and bits and pieces, so it's taken a bit of rain through here in the last sort of couple of months. But let's go down and have a look, shall we? So it's only 10 steps away from my camp, which is great. Let's go down here, and here we go. It's always nice when you can find a place to camp that's next to a stream. I guess in summer you could probably have a bit of a swim in there. Wouldn't be too bad, I wouldn't have thought actually. Uh, but this is a nice wee spot. Bit of water coming through, man. Some rubbish been washed down from the stream. You can see over there, you can see the uh, force of the waters bowled those trees and knocked these over. And all along the bank down there, you can see the way the waters come up and just bowled all those trees. So it's been pretty, uh, Pretty good rain, I would have thought. Oh well, here it comes. So much for the weather forecast. Weather forecast was fine and clear, cold. Talked about a bit of wind as well. What they didn't say was rain. And that's what we've got now. And looking at the sky, <laughs> I'd be pretty surprised if it's going anywhere. It's uh, pretty overcast. It's pretty dark. It's really not that late it's only mid-afternoon um, but it is it's getting quite gray and quite dark out there so we're just gonna have to live with the rain uh, well let's hope that's okay it's all right by me cheers so check this out this little yellow thing here so that's a wasps trap and what it is is it's got bait in it and it's designed to catch wasps and so they can check around the area uh, and find out if there's any invasive species of wasps coming into the area. There is a problem in certain parts of the countries uh, with wasps and uh, they can get pretty, uh, pretty brutal over summer. So you'll see these dotted around the place. Just leave them alone. Don't have to worry about them. Don't check them. Don't do anything. Uh, that's, what, uh, that's what the council does. Checks out those wasps traps. So there you go. Wasp trap. Rain's still falling, but it's just that really fine, fine, misty rain. So it's not heavy. Uh, there's no wind out there, or very little wind. Um, but yeah, misty rain. So you walk out and you walk around, you get soaking wet. But it's not really falling heavily. So I think it's probably time to have something to eat. And uh, tonight I'm doing something a little bit different. I love a winter stew, and, and it's winter time, obviously. So something nice and warm and hearty is really good. But uh, I got a comment on one of my videos who said, well, how come you always cook meat? You never cook anything else. So I'm doing um, a vegan, vegetarian stew tonight. So no meat uh, and 
pretty sure, hopefully it's all vegan. Uh, so we're just gonna use vegetables and, uh, and a few bits and pieces and do a vegan stew. So let's get started with a bit of prep, shall we? So I'm actually getting some of this on the chopping board, not all over the floor. And I've got, um, I've got some garlic and I'm a big fan of garlic. You probably know that if you've watched anything that I've, uh, I've ever cooked. So it's a matter of uh, garlic to taste. So now we just need to uh, peel our veggies and our vegetables are going to be a uh, potato and a sweet potato or a kumara. So I want to chop these up uh, reasonably small. Not, uh, don't want to get too carried away, but uh, just reasonably small. potato, tumor, and uh, got a capsicum here, pepper, whatever you want to call it. There you have it, that's our, uh, that's our ingredients chopped up. Let's get this thing, let's get this thing going. What do I do with my lighter, any ideas? There we go. Okay, I think that's starting to heat up a little bit, so put that in there. Take a while for that to heat up, I think. What we want in there now is just a couple of teaspoons of good quality olive oil. And uh, we'll tip our onions and our garlic in there. And we want to give them just, a, I don't know, three or four minutes. Not even that, two or three minutes. Oh, 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 does that smell good or what? Probably or what, but it does smell good, doesn't it? So they've been in there maybe two or three minutes. So let's put these in there now. So that's, uh, that's our pepper, our capsicum, potato, and the kumara. That can go in there as well. Really need a bit of a bigger, bigger thing to fry them off, but that'll be all right. We'll give them another, maybe five minutes doing this, see how we go. So it's going along pretty good. I think we'll, um, we'll give it a bit of salt and a bit of pepper. So I've got some spices here, just a bit of thyme and paprika. We'll throw that in now, let it start doing its thing. We'll give that a good mix now. Those spices will start to work. Oh, you can smell the paprika already. Starting to look like it know, knows what it's doing. Probably knows what it's doing better than I do. So what we've got uh, here is just a can of chickpeas, just like so. And uh, we will um, carefully measure those out so we get the right amount in there. It's great. Give them a bit of a mix around now. They're just gonna add texture and flavor to it. Um, but we need to get that sauce looking a bit better. Nothing better for a sauce than uh, some chopped tomatoes. So let's get them in there as well. So you have to be careful, make sure you get exactly the right amount in, which is about that much. <laughs> Give everything a stir here. Man, that's smelling good. It's a lot of food here though, isn't there? <laughs> I might have gone overboard as per usual, but that's all right. This is uh, veggie stock. Uh, I'm not sure how much we're gonna want in there. Yeah, about that much, I think. And with a bit of luck, that's gonna now reduce down and uh, we will have our we will have our stew. So I might just put the simmering on. I think that's a good thing to do at this point, like so. And put the lid on. So I reckon that's, oh, I don't know. What do you reckon? I reckon 40 minutes maybe, something like that. I think that's about right. So let's wait 40 minutes and we'll have another look at it then. So yeah, that's looking, uh, Pretty much like it should look, isn't it? So uh, this is just some baby spinach. 
Just add a handful of that, let it wilt down. It's only take a minute or two. So this will give a nice bit of colour and texture and um, well, spinach just tastes good too, so that's fine. Yep, there we go. That's uh, almost two litres of stew. I don't think I'll have any trouble eating that. Looking good though, isn't it? Well, what do you think? Yep, that's definitely done. Just double check that. Oh yeah. Perfect. There we go, so. What do you think? That's our stew, right there. You've got to love those flavors, it's very smoky with the, uh, with the peppers and the paprika and the chickpeas add a little bit of body to it. And uh, yeah, got to like this. I guess it's got a bit of a Spanish flavor in there with the paprika and the capsicum. But uh, the kumara and the potato and the chickpeas, oh, good. And it was getting pretty cold in the rain. This is certainly warming me up. Wasn't sure about putting the uh, putting the spinach in there, but yeah, it's a good idea. Cheers. It's getting a bit dark now. Can you see me all right? I might have to put a light on. Still a bit of rain out there. It's only that uh, sort of light mist, little bit of drizzle kind of rain. It's not that heavy rain that you that you often get this time of the year. So it's quite pleasant. You can hear it falling on the on the roof. I deliberately didn't put my tent under the trees, so I'm not getting any drips from the trees. I'm just going to obviously just get a bit of rain on the tent and hear the stream. <laughs> Can you hear it? It is thundering down out there. Man, made myself a hot chocolate. And uh, I think after I've had the hot chocolate, I'll just retire to bed. This is, uh, this is not pretty out here now, I can tell you that. Oh, lovely hot chocolate. So, yeah, I think since it's gonna rain all night from the sound of it, I don't know if you can hear the rain on the, uh, on the roof or not, but um, it's pretty loud and it looks like it's set in. So, can't imagine, uh, can't imagine this clearing very quickly, but uh, we'll be all right. It's only, uh, it's only a bit of rain, so it should be fine. Well, I'm inside the tent now. I think the last of my hot chocolate, and I think I'll, uh, I've had another cup. This is my second one, should be plenty. And I think I'll head in. Rain's still falling, stream's still going. So I think it's probably time to get to be time to get ready. I think put uh, put my sleeping uh, put my sleeping clothes on and uh, and get ready for bed. Might be a good idea. I'll just have a quick walk around the tent first, make sure everything's okay. You can see things are still moving a bit. She's a bit breezy outside, uh, and it is still raining. So I'll make sure everything's pegged down, and then button her up for the night. I think I think that's the plan. If anything happens in the middle of the night that I think you should know about, I'll let you know. But failing that, I'll enjoy the sound of the rain on the roof, the stream behind me, and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Well, good morning. <laughs> Boy, did it rain last night. Man, it came down. It wasn't windy, thank goodness, but just the rain was just steady and constant. It was actually a great 
way to stay asleep because I'm not underneath the trees as I said so I wasn't getting those heavy drips it was just the rain on it so uh, I turned the light out about 6 30 quarter to 7 something like that and um, I didn't wake up until just after 7 30 so 12 hours sleep beautiful so really just a matter of uh, having some breakfast and seeing what the day brings it looks like it's clearing uh, there's a ever so slight patch of blue sky out there so we'll see if that uh, see if that actually materializes or it carries on raining but. well this is the same place i was yesterday late afternoon i came down and um, as you can see the water's well well up and uh, this is the rain from last night so it's probably risen i don't know a foot 18 inches maybe um, so you can see how quickly the water comes up and how you've got to be very very careful whenever you're camping anywhere we're all right because we're a couple of meters above the water so there's no way it was going to get to us but um just that rain overnight and this amount of water well it's probably time for a little bit of breakfast so nothing fancy just a couple of spuds i think and uh, we'll do a bit of a bit of an omelette kind of thing i think so we'll just chop these up put a bit of oil in there probably almost done oh, I might just grab one and just see yep. so. Well, there you go. It's probably not the prettiest omelette I've ever made. Um, and that fun with the Trangia hotspot in the middle. But um, no, I think it'll be all right. Tastes great, actually. Nothing wrong with them. Well, I'm very impressed with this tent. It was a bit raining last night, and I was nice and tucked up, dry, no problems at all. This is a really good tent. For the price, and given that it's an entry-level tent, hard to imagine getting anything too much better. For me, one person, I mean, I get it if you've got a family, you need more space and everything else, but this is perfect for me. Just got the right amount of space, and I rather like it. Cheers.
Well, there it is. Empty space, all packed up, ready to go. Thanks very much for watching. You know I really appreciate it. I really appreciate every comment, every like, every subscribe. So thank you very much. You're either someone of very good taste and style or you just like to see a fat old boy like me thrashing around in the bush. Either way, if you want to see the first effort camping in that tent, check that video out up there. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe out there.